guys, I'm finally back with a new video and I'm extremely excited for this new video and even though I know I always say I'm like excited to film a new video, I honestly am because I love doing this. Like I love finding a minute in my day where I can like sit down and film a new video for you guys because I know I'm like I try so hard to be as consistent as I can but believe me when I tell you that sometimes it's just so hard to find a minute in the day to just sit down like me time and just film and I'm super excited for this one because I have not done a monthly favorites in a long long time I know it's been like maybe a year you guys like it's been so long and I was like you know what I have a few new beauty products that I've been trying out and I've been totally loving and they've been like on replay this past month in April so here is an April's favorite video and I hope you guys enjoy it. And I know you guys are probably sitting down thinking, um, hold up, the last time we seen this girl on camera, she had blonde hair and now it's black. What? <laughs> um, I just recently, I have a week now with my black hair. Um, I have baby hair like all over the place. But um, I ended up dyeing my hair black and I ended up cutting my hair like halfway like it's like this long you guys and but yeah I cut my hair really quick because blonde I seen my hair and it was just horrible I mean it was like the ugliest thing ever it was so dry full of split ends it was just horrendous and I said okay I need to go chop off all of those split ends and just dye my hair one more time so it can just grow out and be natural so here I am now with black hair um, at first I was really like weirded out but like oh my god I'm used to seeing myself with blonde hair but now I'm totally digging it. Let me know if you guys are like yay or nay. Um, but yeah I'm going to be dark hair like from black. I'm going to grow out my dark. I'm actually a brunette uh, natural color so I'm going to grow out my natural dark brown hair. So yeah quick intro. So let's jump right into the April favorites guys. Share with you guys was my new moisturizer because obviously what goes underneath all of my makeup i hope i don't look too oily today because i'm like back from work but um this is the neutrogena oil free combination skin daily moisturizer and i just recently this past month picked this up at, at target i was looking for a new moisturizer and i wanted to go to neutrogena because i had been breaking out and i don't know what was going on if it was like I was confused what was going on. I bought a few products which I'm gonna, I have to do an updated um, skin routine like products that I'm using in my face that have been working. But anyways, I, I picked up this product and this product is for combination skin so it's for dry and oily skin. So if you have dry and oily skin you might want to try this one. But for the oily um, skin what I loved was that it controls your, it absorbs the oil um, from your T-zone. And pretty much like from this area um, obviously like I was out in the heat like for like a while today but trust me you guys this is nothing compared to how I usually will look on a normal like day where I have to be blotting like it's it's not pretty at all so I really like this one because it actually works with all the foundations that I wear it absorbs all of the the excess oil from my face so I really really do love that and I'm definitely going to keep buying this one and keep reusing it. So if you have dry and oily skin, you might want to try the Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisture Combination Skin Moisturizer. It's a daily moisturizer, but you can wear it day or night. And you can wear it under your makeup or just like that by itself. So definitely check it out. And it's like 7 or 8 bucks at the most. Then let me get to my foundation that I have been totally loving, you guys. Like I discovered this foundation in February, I believe. And I've been using it ever since. And it is the Cavon D Lock It Up Lock It Tattoo Foundation. Oh my god, you guys. I am in the shade Medium 54. And I'm halfway through the bottle already. Like, I only use it mainly, like, on the weekends. At first, I would kind of use it even, like, during the week. But I was like, no, like, this is, like, my holy grail foundation right now. And I don't want to be, like, wasting it like crazy. So I'm, like, halfway now through. And I'm definitely going to be repurchasing it. It's all dirty looking, you guys. I need to clean it up but um this is literally like when it says it's full coverage it's full coverage like literally it covers any single imperfection that you have on your face it's like gone oh my god you guys I am totally in love I have been hearing like so many good reviews about it 
And I finally got my hands on it and I am now like a fan, like hands down. This is an amazing foundation. Um, you can find this at, I got it at Sephora and it was $34 at Sephora. A little bit pricier than drugstore, but it's worth it. Especially, like I said, I had been kind of like breaking out. I had like, like some scars in there. And then with this, it's like, boom, like flawless. Like, hello, I'm ready for my close-up. Like, it was just, oh my god, you guys, amazing. So I definitely do recommend this one too. Everything that I'm sharing with you guys, I genuinely love these items and I'm recommending them to you guys if you haven't tried them and then if you have leave a comment below and let me know how well it's been working out for you it does last 24 hours on like it's it's long lasting full coverage but it is not the best with my oily skin but I'm willing I'm willing to look that over because that's how much I love it you guys so definitely whoops I've totally been loving the Kat Von D Lock It, Lock it Tattoo Foundation it's a total must and it's worth every penny now the next item let me share with you guys going on to my eyes I know it's been out for like a while and it's not even like a new product but I have been like every weekend doing a new look with like the naked palette um especially oh my god for like smoky eye I'm totally like into this right now you guys and you can I don't know if you can even tell the colors I mainly always use like they're all like I don't think you can tell but this has been like my go-to like if I don't even use all the colors on like if I don't do my whole look out of this at least one color comes out of here if not all so definitely the naked one palette I only have the one and the three because the two seems very similar to the one I was like no I love the one I'm fine um, I've totally been loving you guys it's just like perfect and especially for like those like smoky eye evening kind of glam looks this is like my go-to palette totally in love you guys if you haven't tried it out invest like 50 bucks in it it's totally worth worth it high pigmentation long lasting it's just perfect and it goes on beautifully okay i thought i would never see the day where i would tell you guys this but if you've been watching my videos you know that i have been super loyal to the maybelline Oh my god, I even forgot the name because I'm just like over it now. No, I'm not over it. The Maybelline Falsies Mascara. You guys know that it's like, I would always like never, like this is my number one. No other mascara has compared. And although it's still up there, number two now, but it's up there. Um, I found a mascara that replaced number one spot and that is the L'Oreal Magna, oh, Manga. <laughs> The L'Oreal Voluminous Manga. Oh my god, you guys. This is just amazing. I love it. I just repurchased another one. I still have. I'm still using the other one, but I didn't want it to run out and I didn't have any. So, this is it. I always get the waterproof uh, foundation. I just feel like they last. They go better with my lashes. And, obviously, I get in the black. It's black. It is seriously it gives so much volume to your eyelashes it spreads them out like i'm wearing falsies right now so you can't really tell i have a little bit of a top coat with them but um it spreads them out so gorgeously super dark like charcoal black it is just beautiful you guys it lasts like all day it's like fanned like they fan out and like the bristles like just spread everything out it is just gorgeous 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 100 percent. this one is now number one so you guys definitely need to try it it's l'oreal i moved brands from like maybelline to l'oreal whoops but um it's definitely worth it it's like seven bucks i believe but it's super cheap and i tend to like drugstore mascaras better than like high-end mascaras i find that they work better on me my opinion but um although there are some good high-end mascaras that are good i'm not saying they're not but like this L'Oreal mascara, oh my god, you guys, it's like angels come down and like seeing when I'm like putting it on, like it's just gorgeous. So definitely number one. And then last but not least, I wanted to share a hair product that I've been using the past, last month, the month before, I think I got it like in March. And I've been using it because um, I've been like buying so many product, hair products for my hair because I want to like get it back to really healthy state. 
And this little beauty here has been one of my first one that I purchased. And it is the L'Oreal Advanced Hair from the Advanced Hair Line. The Total Repair 5 Multi Restorative Dry Oil. And it's for normal to fine hair. And it instantly repairs and shines. And it's a leave-in treatment. This is my second bottle already, you guys. I went through one like in March. And then I had to purchase another one. So it's been like... An ongoing thing every night when my hair is still pretty like damp, I put this on mainly on the tips, like halfway in my hair, and then whatever I have left over, I just put it on on top on my root. It really does. I feel like it makes a difference. It really softens your hair as well because when I brush it, it just like you know, like like soft, like cotton balls, like uh, you know, I'm just brushing away like without a worry in the world. It's just perfect you guys and if I put it on during the day it definitely adds shine to my hair I just put on a little bit and I rub it on because it's like oil and I rub it on my hand and I just put on a little bit of some shine to my hair for the day and it works perfectly like magically like like oh like ah like finding products that just like help you out when you have a problem and it's like makes it better for you it's like Thank you, like, it's just amazing, and this is one of those products, so definitely, and it's like, six bucks, I believe, you guys, six bucks, six dollars, I can, I cannot even, like, let's take a moment, so I take that in, like, six dollars, and it helps out your hair so much, I mean, I, I just, it does not get any better than that, you guys, so, definitely, all these products that I just shared with you guys, definitely do recommend you to go out there and try them. I hope this video was useful for you and helpful and that you guys liked it and I hope you guys enjoyed a new monthly favorite that's finally going up in my channel so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already let's keep this fashionista fan base going on and don't forget to subscribe tell your friends to come and subscribe don't forget to follow my fashion blog at fashionethanthecity.blogspot.com if you're not following me yet already for all of my outfit looks to find out where everything is from so you can go and shop till you drop. Oh, oh yeah, shop till you drop. Okay, I'm a little too hyper today. But don't forget to follow my fashion blog and subscribe, subscribe, not subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already at fashionethanthecity underscore and you'll get a preview of all of my outfit of the day is that I go up to my blog so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give my video a big old thumbs up if you like my video and if you want to see more monthly videos any requests or comments leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys